All right, this just showed up. I got home and the box was there. Basically what this thing is, it's an upgrade for your uh, van fan. So if you got a camper, RV, uh, enclosed cargo trailer with a one of these inexpensive fans with the single speed, loud as heck. Uh, it moves air, but just in this one little spot. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the dust, but it's, the dust is only right here. But uh, basically, it's it's a retro kit, so you don't have to remove the whole vent. You remove the screen, you remove the blade off the fan, and you could even leave the motor up there. And this thing fits in. Look at the size of this fan compared to that. That, that, see the difference? And this one has multiple speeds and it can uh, reverse. So you could vent by sucking the air out or you could bring air in. So uh, we're about to install this. It works on if you have a hang, hangs vent fan or a vent line vent fan. This fan that I installed in this uh, enclosed cargo trailer, I cut the the uh, the opening and everything, and installed that. Is a hang, so it'll work. All right, so let me get a screwdriver and some other tools and install this thing. And there you go. First thing you do, you move that ring. So that's gone. There's four screws. Then the next thing we're gonna do is remove the screen. The screen is two screws. There's one in there and one in there. I almost forgot, and you gotta remove the, the knob that opens and closes the vent. It's just one screw in there, and this pulls off. All right, the two screws are out. The knob is off, so the screen is just hanging by the wire. I'm gonna cut the zip tie and uh, I don't need the switch. I'm trying to decide where I'm gonna. Actually, when I installed this unit, I gave it a lot of slack, and I think I use wire nuts, anticipating doing this. So, uh, let's see. Yep, it's just as I thought. I did use wire nuts and taped them up because I was anticipating doing this. So, I wanted to make it easier for myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo this, take the blade off, and I brought my drill over because I think I'm gonna go ahead and drill out the spot wells and just go ahead and remove the fan. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, well, not the fan, but the motor. But uh, we'll see what I do. Heck, I might just leave the bracket on and unscrew the fan. We'll see. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, instead of undoing the rivets and stuff, I mean the spot wells, I'm going to just unscrew the motor and just take the motor off. There's no sense in leaving the motor up there if I'm not going to be using it anymore. Alright, it comes with this little thing in, in the little plastic bag. It comes with those two screws, this uh, plastic thumb nut, thumb screw thing. And this little plastic thing that goes on where the knob was. So where you take the knob, the open and close knob, you take this thing, thing and you just stick it on there. You got to tap it on. So I'm going to use the back of my screwdriver to tap it on there. You're not trying to break it. You're just trying to get it on there. And this will interface with that thing right there. I had hung the, the fan by a piece of uh, wire just so I could check the polarity to make sure it was spinning the direction I wanted. Basically, I want it to run exactly as it's labeled. I want three speeds to vent out and two speeds for sucking in. Some people, if you want, you can wire it um, backwards so you can have three speeds 
for sucking in and two speeds for blowing out. Excuse me. So now that my polarity is right, correct, I'm gonna put the wire nuts back on, tape them up, stuff them back up in the ceiling, and uh, mount this. Basically, this mounts exactly like your screen did. So the screen mounted with these two screws. This whole unit mounts with the with two screws also. All right, the two screws are in one there and one there again it installs just like your screen installs so if you, you ever pull the screen to clean it on your old cheap single speed fan you can install this thing all right because just two wires and the two screws and like i said that thing the square looking thing that fits onto your your old the shaft for your old knob the square thing interfaces with those gears and what you do is you don't put a screw in there. You take this thing, this little thumb screw thing that comes with the kit. There's. And that thing, it comes in the bag and you just take it, you screw that in there. You remove the screen and the screen, there's a circular screen. You just pop it off. There's a little, see that little, you, you just pop it off. That way you can install this thing. Okay. Oh. There we go. And you just thumb tighten it. It's plastic, so you're not trying to like put all your weight on it. Just until it stops in a little bit more. And that's fully closed. I just fully closed the lid and I'm going to open it. This is, you know, it uses the gears. And there it is. It's open. I don't know if you can see it through there. That's closed. And that's fully open. It's dark outside, so. But that's it. And right now I have it on low blowing out so if i hit my fan switch and again that's low that is way quieter and in my opinion this thing on low is moving more air than my my old fan and it is really quiet and i could turn it up that's medium i'm right next to it with no uh, screen on it. And that's high. On high, it sounds like that fan did on its single speed. And again, this thing is moving a whole lot more air. I'm trying to hold the paper up. It's trying to suck it up, but it's moving a whole lot more air. Perfect. Let me see something. Yeah, this is a whole lot better. I think I'm gonna leave it on medium. So when you turn the switch on, right there, it just goes to medium. Now, of course, if you want to, you can have it blowing in. So now I'm gonna just take the screen and just pop it on. But I need, see, it has a little clips, but I need two hands for that, so. And there it is with the screen on, fully installed, the trim ring and everything. Uh, go ahead and like, share, subscribe so we could grow the channel a little bit. We have a farm out, out here. We do a lot of DIY videos, auto repair, gardening, tractor stuff, wood walks. Uh, we have a little cottage that we renovated and we know Airbnb it. So again, like, share, subscribe. Let's grow this channel so you can see more stuff. All right.